allergy exam. You are listening to the audio brochure. Allergy exam. You have made an appointment for an allergy exam. This procedure examines whether you are allergic, and if so, for what. Please report to reception desk N of the Dermatology Outpatient Centre at the agreed time. Preparation Please refrain from taking any antihistamine medication, pills that prevent itching or hay fever, in the three days prior to the exam. Please refrain from using any corticosteroid creams or gels on your back or lower arms in the two days prior to the exam. In the two weeks prior to the exam, please do not expose your body to the sun or a sunbed. Please inform the Outpatient Centre 020-444-0145 if you have taken prednisone, dexamethasone, neoral or any other immunosuppressive medication regardless of your illness, in the week prior to the exam. Furthermore, on the first day of the examination, please bring any cosmetics, toiletries, medication or other substances that may possibly elicit skin problems. Include substances you currently use or were using when the skin problems started. The exam. On the first day of the exam, you will meet with your attending physician and be thoroughly informed regarding your contact with substances and situations which may cause your skin condition. The allergy exam will take place based on the outcome of this consultation. There are several types of allergy exams. Skin patch tests, epicutaneous skin tests, skin prick tests, percutaneous skin tests. Skin patch tests, epicutaneous skin tests. After the consultation with your attending physician, patches with test substances will be applied to your back. The following substances are used. Chemicals from the so-called European Standard Series, which include the most common contact allergens, substances that may cause an allergic reaction when they come into contact with the skin. These chemicals are applied to almost every patient. Chemicals from the so-called Additional Standard Series. This includes a set of substances that are often, but not regularly, a cause of an allergic reaction. These chemicals are also applied to almost every patient. Chemicals that are the possible cause of the allergic reaction in your individual case, taking into consideration your occupation, hobbies, skin care, clothing and or the location and character of your eczema. It is possible that you will be asked to supply these substances yourself, for example, chemicals that you use at work or for your hobbies. These chemicals can then be made fit for testing on your skin. The skin patch test is a very safe method. It is the only common method to test for allergic contact eczema. If you are allergic to one or more of the tested chemicals, a small spot of eczema, a positive response, will appear at that location. Occasionally, eczema can worsen during testing. It is important to report this to your attending physician or nurse. 
This may indicate that the chemicals tested on your back are the cause of your skin condition. If you have been allergy tested for medication, for example antibiotics, in some cases you will have to stay in the waiting room for one to two hours after the patches have been applied for observation purposes. This is why your appointment, including the consultation, can take up to three hours. You can have a skin patch test even when pregnant. On the second day, you often don't have to come in unless a specific situation calls for it. This will become apparent once it is established which substances you need to be tested for. Only some of the test patches are removed after the first day. The rest of the patches will not be removed until day three. On the third day, the patches will be removed from your back and the reactions will be examined. The locations of the chemicals will be marked with waterproof ink. To prevent this ink from staining your clothing, we suggest you bring an old shirt with you. On the fourth day, your back will be examined once more. Afterwards, the test results will be discussed with you. You may be asked to come in again on the following Monday afternoon to show your back again depending on the substances tested. This is because some chemicals cause skin reactions only six to seven days after exposure. Please note that during the exam, your back may not come into contact with water or be exposed to the sun. This will influence the results of the test. To prevent the patches from peeling off, please refrain from any activities that may cause a great deal of transpiration or cause you to bend your back too much. If the edges of the patches do curl off, please affix them to your skin with an extra patch. When you come back in for examination purposes, please avoid tight clothing. This includes a bra and don't lean against the back of the chair in the waiting room. Both of these actions can influence the test results. Skin prick tests, percutaneous skin tests. These tests are usually performed to diagnose allergies for substances that are inhaled, inhalation allergens, or eaten, food allergens. This type of test is primarily used for mucocutaneous conditions, but also for skin conditions such as eczema and skin problems caused by medication. Generally, the test substances are applied to the skin on the forearms in liquid form, after which a sterile needle pricks the skin superficially. This examination may also include superficial scratches or injections into the skin. These injections or scratches cause a very small degree of pain. Reactions occur quickly and can be observed after 10 to 30 minutes. Positive reactions resemble mosquito bites and tend to itch. One of the side effects may be a dark pigment spot or scratch post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Due to the extensive experience in this field, problems rarely occur during the skin prick tests. Some allergens, such as latex or rubber, can cause strong reactions such as hives or utricaria, or very rarely tightness in the chest. If you have any physical complaints during the examination, please report these to our employees immediately so that we can be of assistance. A nurse is always present for observation purposes. You will then receive medication, for example a quick acting antihistamine, if necessary and the test will be suspended. On rare occasions you may be asked to stay for observation after testing. If you will only be receiving skin prick tests, the consultation and testing will occur on the same day, Tuesday afternoon or Wednesday morning. Sometimes the prick tests will occur in stages, which can take the whole morning or afternoon. If necessary, bring something to eat. If you are pregnant, skin prick tests cannot be performed. 
Please tell your attending physician if you are pregnant. Summary During the skin patch exam, it is essential that your back does not come into contact with water. Furthermore, your back should not be exposed to the sun both during the exam and two weeks prior to testing. Pregnancy is not a problem for skin patch testing. However, the skin prick testing cannot be carried out. Stop taking antihistamines three days prior to the exam. Warn your outpatient centre if you are taking immunosuppressive medication. If necessary, take some food with you. Sometimes the exam can last the whole morning or afternoon. Questions If you have any questions, please contact the Outpatient Centre for Allergy and Work-Related Dermatology, phone number 020 444 0145 VU University Medical Center September 2013 www.vumc.nl